Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we have a brand new Descendants film on our hands today with Descendants The Rise of Red, now officially streaming on Disney+. Plus. It just came out today, just watched it, and it's... It's interesting. It's very different from the other Descendants films in many ways, similar in many ways as well, um, but I still really enjoyed it. Um, I grew up with the original Descendants movies, um, and I think it was definitely the right choice to, um, you know, it's, it's a franchise that's very rich with characters and possibilities, so it was a no-brainer that they were going to eventually do another film and expand upon this universe. Uh, but I think it was the right decision to not do a Descendants 4 and do a sequel um, with Mal and Ben and, and Jay and Evie because obviously the big elephant in the room is that they no longer have Cameron Boyce, unfortunately. And I will say they do really pay respects to that in this film and it is referenced and it did make me cry. Um, but so yeah, none of those original big characters from the original Descendants movies are in this film. The only returning characters we have from the original franchise is we have China and McLean as Uma, and we have our, uh, our, uh, fairy godmother, uh, played by Melanie Paxson. Um, so even just having those two here was great, uh, still made it feel like it was in universe and, and again, there were references and there were mentions of what happened to our other characters, what they're doing right now. Uh, but this film is putting the spotlight and the focus on some new characters, mainly Red, uh, played by Kylie Control in this film. Um, because basically the, the basis of this film is that now, so Ben and Mal are off on, some side mission together and uh so they've left uma in charge of oridon prep so she's the basically substitute principal of oridon right now and one of the first things she wants to do is basically you know one of the biggest things with the descendants franchise that by the end was oh take down the barrier and basically let children from the isle of the lost have access to oridon if they chose um and so here Uma decides she wants it to be not only that, but all of the kingdoms. So we find out about Wonderland being a separate kingdom, and apparently the Queen of Hearts was not a fan of Oridon, so she uh, did not like the agreement to join Oridon and align with them. So uh, Uma's like, oh, we should give them a chance. And that's where we bring it into this story where the Queen of Hearts is all evil and her daughter Red, she doesn't agree with her. Uh, we also have uh, Chloe Charming is another star of this film as well, um, daughter of Cinderella. So brother, or, or well, sister of her brother being Chad Charming, who we saw in the original films, um, who again, we don't see him, but he's referenced here. Um, but we do get to see Cinderella and King Charming in this movie, um, which very interestingly and very coolly was played by Brandy and uh, Paolo Montalban, uh, bringing back not necessarily the same iterations of those characters, but still really awesome to see the actors back in those roles after, of course, uh, the 1997 Rodgers and Hammerstein's Cinderella film, uh, where they played Cinderella and Prince Charming. So that was really cool to see them here. Um, and again, so we, so we have Red and we have uh, Chloe Charming. They're like our two main stars of this film. Um, and there's a lot of time travel involved, which I thought was a really cool way of going about doing things because then first of all, that avoids having to have the actors from the previous films. Um, and then also that allows us to get younger versions of some of these other characters, not only are kind of heroic characters like Cinderella um, and uh, Aladdin and characters like that, but also our villains where we get to see a young Maleficent, a young Hades, um, a young Captain Hook, and not Ursula herself. But apparently Ursula's little sister, uh, played by Dara Renee, which I loved her in High School Musical, the musical series. So seeing her here was really cool. Um, even seeing like uh, Jeremy Swift from Ted Lasso as Merlin, that was great casting. The casting here really was fantastic. That was one of the, uh, the uh, best aspects of this film. Um, now, again, so I really enjoyed this movie um, and I'm definitely looking forward to seeing more from this new 
age of descendants films because it's even teased at the end that like there's going to be more you know the usual oh you didn't really think that was the end of the story did you they do that again um and so i'm looking forward to seeing that and, and i did enjoy this film but it definitely is not the same as the original films um obviously the original films were directed and choreographed by kenny ortega which kenny ortega is just movie musical magic um so that was something that was missing. I mean, uh, the choreographer here, Ashley Wallen, was very accomplished. Like, it was still great choreography, but it just, it wasn't the same as uh, as what we had in those original films. Because that was one of the best parts of those movies, was the choreography. Um, but I will say one aspect that this is actually better than the original films is just the budget. You can tell that this is not just your regular little Disney Channel original movie, because they like barely do that anymore that this was specifically made for Disney plus because even just watching the trailer because I rewatched the first three descendants films in anticipation of this and then I watched the trailer for this movie after watching those three and just such a huge difference in quality uh the CGI the sets all of that astounding it was really insane um but yeah, so I, I had fun with Descendants, The Rise of Red. Uh, there was some catchy music in here as well. That's another thing that like, there wasn't as many great songs in here, but there were still a few I really enjoyed. I'll say uh, my personal favorites were uh, Life is Sweeter and Perfect Revenge. I really enjoyed both of those. Uh, but the whole cast was insanely talented. Um, and uh, again, I'm looking forward to hopefully seeing more uh, from the world of Descendants in the future. Maybe the return of some of our original franchise characters but honestly even just sticking with these new characters that we have here uh would be quite a bit of fun as well uh so guys let me know your thoughts in the comments below what did you think about descendants the rise of red uh does it live up to your expectations is it as good as the original films and do you want to see more from this franchise so thanks for watching please drop a give enjoyed this video and hit the subscribe button so keep it to date on everything goes on in the movie life